Good afternoon. I hope everybody's doing good today. Yesterday I did a video, but I didn't like how I was dressed in the video. So, um, you may bring the cut. Excuse me, yeah, I'm walking around people, but I didn't like how I was dressed yesterday, and I didn't think that it looked all that great because of how I was dressed, so I did delete the video. Um, so today I'm dressed a little differently, even though I'm still going to the chiropractor. I had to go yesterday and today, and we're working on getting me up to three days a week, but um, with the stenosis that I have, um, in the in my spine and you know at the at the uh, cord itself there's uh, <coughs> little bones and um, that's uh, narrowing and then the little holes where the nerves come out of that's narrowing and this has been going on for years but it's just to the point now where it's almost unbearable and that's why I take the meds that I take just so I can appear somewhat normal you know and I know that God would heal me I know he would if I asked but I don't need God to heal me for me to believe in him. And, uh, wow, I see two of me. Ooh, that's a scary thought. Um, but I talked with my sister today, and we got some pretty bad news all the way around. And it was like, um, the world in one day decided that it was going to turn everybody upside down and start banging them on top and banging them on their heads before writing them up again and laughing. Well, um, last week sometime I did a video of a urgent prayer request for a friend of my sister who went into the hospital because she had a brain aneurysm. Well, apparently when she had the aneurysm, she vomited at some point and breathed that in, and I forgot what that's called. But because of that, she ended up getting an infection in her lungs, and she ended up getting pneumonia, and she couldn't fight it off. And she died at 6.30 this morning. My, my son's wife, her mother, was just diagnosed with colon cancer. And so prayer needs to be there. And then another friend of the family sometime this morning had a heart attack and died suddenly I mean no warning nothing just had a heart attack and died and so my sister's really not handling things well and neither am I and on my end Aside from my spine, I do need other prayer because recently I had an MRI done, a die cast MRI, and what they're looking for is cancer. <coughs> I am no stranger to the threat of cancer. And so far, you know, God's blessed me by keeping me okay. But I preach the gospel. Or I don't preach the gospel, I teach it. 
or at least I try to. I give you the verses, and we know that the devil comes against those who preach and teach the gospel. Well, the devil and his minions, I mean, Jesus said that his, go that his gospel would be hated among all else, and it is. You know, Paul taught the gospel of grace, and he gets called a liar. Well, he got called a liar when he was uh, preaching. And the same lies that were told about him are still being told by the legalist against those who teach the gospel. You know, the... And if you don't like me, which is okay, other ones you can check out is Renee Rowland. I really like her. Pastor Tim Henderson, Barry Scarborough, or Scarborough, uh, Wretched Knucklehead, uh, Saved Sinner, Saved by Grace, um, Um, faith plus nothing equals salvation I think I'm stating that channel correctly um, uh, crossing over uh, across the uh, driveway and I've been walking a lot the last couple days so I'm kind of walking slow right now and, uh, and let me apologize again since I had to delete yesterday's video. Um, where I live, it's right off the freeway. And uh, it's a main street here that goes from the freeway all the way up through the... Um, you know, I know that I shouldn't walk against a red hand, but I've got the green light. Okay. So I didn't really jaywalk because it was a green light. But... Um, the a major street and there's all kinds of uh, fast food restaurants around here and so there's a lot a lot of traffic and because it is off the freeway big trucks will come down here and it gets kind of loud every now and then um So, oh, and I did want to correct something for the people that did watch the video before I deleted it. The verse that I chose for myself is 1 Corinthians 2.2. 2. For I determined to know nothing save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And Paul did that. Paul taught the gospel. He taught it faithfully. And the gospel is Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And a lot of these legalists, they get salvation and discipleship mixed up. And that's where the problem is. They read Jesus' teaching and Jesus taught to the Jews, not the Gentiles. And Jesus was teaching in the Old Testament not the new but jesus still did teach the gospel of grace the way it was taught in the old testament but 
those verses get taken out of context, twisted around, and instead of reading an entire set of verses, the legalist will read like one, maybe two verses, and ignore the rest, and claim, see, this is what you gotta do. But yet, they ignore everything before and after it. And they don't take the whole Bible into consideration. And they get really irritated. And what else they do is they, uh, um, um, they've rewritten the Bible, sorry, they've rewritten the Bible and removed verses that they don't like. Um, I'm not used to showing my face on video. And at first, for a long time, I was really paranoid about doing it. But, wow, I don't even know. How am I supposed to... Because I'm looking straight at the camera. But yet, my eyes are not looking directly at me. And I'm not sure how that works. Hmm. Oh, well. But, um... You know, in the gospel, as always, says 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Um, you know, and as I said, uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 2. I'm determined to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, Acts 16, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Oh, my hair's a mess. I'm just a little sweaty, and I tried to, um, and I put a lot of product on my hair today because it's so fly away, and now it's all kind of, ooh. So I've got really, really fine hair. Um, you know, Romans 4, 24, 25. Jesus Christ was delivered over for our offenses. And he was raised again for our justification. You know, Jesus Christ did all the work. We did nothing. Acts 16, 31. What must I do to be saved? The Roman jailer asks in verse 30. Paul and Silas answer in verse 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Um, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For salvation, not faith, salvation is a gift from God. And it's by grace, through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, no works at all. We can't do any works. There's no works at all that we could do. None. There's some screaming going on, and I can't see where the screaming's coming from. I think it's coming from people in a car. Um, so, oh, here comes a security guard. Yeah, he heard it too. He heard the commotion too. Um, Well, it looks like the security guard's going to go down there and check it out. So, prayers for the security guard. And, you know, prayers for the security guard and his safety. Um, and prayers for my sister. She's uh, has to leave San Diego to go be with... 
with the children so that Charlene can um, spend time with her mother. Um, not many people know, but my son, I'm his birth mother, but my sister's his adopted mother. And, but I've always had contact with him. And we've always been, you know, we weren't always close because of things that I've done in the past. You know, behaviors I was living in like years and years and years ago. And, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm grateful, you know, and so just pray for my sister. She has to go be with grandbabies. And, uh, there's a lot of people right now that are just in desperate need of prayer, especially believers. I mean, some believers are coming down with some of the worst diseases, and most of it's some form of cancer. You know, I can just hear the legalists now talking all kinds of nonsense and garbage. But the sad part is, the legalists at the very end, if they don't come to Christ, they're going to hear the words, depart from me. You worker of iniquity, for I never knew you. And that's not at the judgment seat of Christ, as many teach, you know, because that's just bad doctrine. You know, Christ's not going to say that at the judgment seat. He's going to say that at the great white throne judgment. We're at 17 minutes, and I need to get in for my appointment. Um... I hope everybody has a wonderful day. A great weekend coming up. My weekend starts on Friday. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.